Do you want to know what Stubborn American is? We're about ready to find out. The Stubborn American, located in Moyers, Oklahoma and hosted by Adam Sandoval. This event brings together some of the biggest names in the motorcycle community, and I couldn't wait to get out there. Because it was our first moto camping trip, we had to do some shopping before we hit the road for a 1,500 mile trip across the country. All right, well this is it. We are hitting the road and going to K River. Our first stop is gonna be in Grants, New Mexico. We should be on the road for, I don't know, like 12 hours today, 735 miles, something like that. I'm just gonna say It took just two and a half days to get out there, making stops along the way and grabbing food when I could. All right, so we got some food. We are approximately six hours and 50 minutes from Oklahoma City. But enough about the road trip. Let's get to the K River. Okay, so we are officially here, K River Campground for the Stubborn American. And for the first time ever, it's time to moto camp. Let's go ahead and set up. And welcome. Uh, we're standing in the little uh, creators area that Adam has set up for us and show you around real quick this is just gonna be a common area where we can kind of hang out exchange ideas talk meet uh, looking forward to it so I'm already set up and uh, we're gonna go enjoy the stubborn America Okay, so that's dumb truck. Hi. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. <laughs> if you don't watch Full Thought of Hog, well, you should click right there and you will. Right there. That guy right here looks better now than he did this morning, I can tell you. Chuck's and I'll tell you right now if you're in this area you want to check Chuck's out they got a shop here Chuck is the kind of guy that you want on any road trip really because this guy can build anything fix anything and just a super solid dude so here we are they have a little uh, bar and grill right here where you can get something to eat uh, grab a beverage and check out he's got a little museum here it's fantastic highly recommend it let's check it out This motorcycle was built by this young man up here in, in the shadow box. Brand new in 1968. He got called up to Vietnam three months later. Told his brother, hide the bike, mom will sell it. I want it when I get home. He was killed in Vietnam, so he didn't come home. His brother 
donated the bike to Chuck, just as is, and it can run, but Chuck has it so it won't run because nobody is entitled to ever ride this bike again. That young man, as Chuck is very, very fond of telling everybody, gave his life for our country, and he'll spend the rest of his life telling his story. The coins represent other military members that have come to pay their respects. So, wicked smart mechanic here. What did we do to the uh, to the mini mini bikes for the race? We made them go fast. We made them go fast. Check out this footage. Just like that, the stubborn American was over. But we were left with some good memories and some new friends. Well, even some memories I wish I didn't have. Okay, uh, obviously we had a little mishap and sometimes you need to sacrifice a little bit of fun to go home in the same vehicle you showed up in. I left for Kay River on a Harley Davidson. And I came back in a vehicle I could have got out of a Cracker Jack box. This is terrible. But that's a story for another time. There's nothing better than hanging out in a certain location with a whole bunch of motorcycle enthusiasts. $13,000 going twice. So, James, you got yourself a brand new trike. $13,000. And raising money for a good cause. The Stubborn American is four days of pure joy. Was it the party of the year? Yeah. Go ahead and put it on the bucket list. <laughs>